Okay, is it finally working? Holy shit. Ugh, it only took me like a fucking year and a half to figure that out. Okay, finally. Ugh. Hey guys, so, what's up? Um, I guess I should do the thing. Hey guys, welcome back to Vanellope's Corner. I just realized this isn't Vanellope's Corner, it's just Vanellope's Archives. Whatever. Anyway, um... <laughs> So, first, okay, so, first of all, um, <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess I better talk about what I was talking about before again. So, um, I, I was talking about my grandparents coming here, and I was talking about, um, Okay, I was talking about my grandparents coming here. So, my grandparents are coming here this summer instead of... My mom said she'd probably go there, um, like, one more time. But my grandparents are coming here, which I'm really excited about, because that means I don't have to drive, like, four and a half hours to see them. It also means I don't have to do any packing and unpacking, which I hate. Um, so, that definitely makes it a lot easier for me. Um, <laughs> I know that, like, they have to pack and stuff, but... I mean, yeah. Uh, the other thing is that um, I basically gave away that um, Jada isn't real. She was, she was. I I didn't have any fans back in the day, so I created a fan. It's kind of like when you're a kid and you have a lemonade stand or something, and you just like put a couple of dollars in the jar just to get the ball rolling. That's what I did. I like I created this fake person. Like, I created this account, and I created this girl to, like, I created this girl was my fan to, like, get other people to come and be fans of me. So, <laughs> I hope you guys don't hate me now. So, um, I'm still trying to figure out why this isn't working, uh, with Prankster Lock. Because it's working for me, and I found it. And, yeah, it's going on right now, so what the hell is going on? Okay, well... A lot of people have been doing social experiments lately. Like, one of the weirdest things I saw, um, it was actually really creepy. The, there was a wife and a husband, and I guess they were, like, divorced or something. And the husband was watching his kid in the park, and he wasn't, like, watching the kid. Like, he was just looking at his phone, and he was texting and shit. So the wife sent in one of her friends to try and, like, lure the kid away, and the her friend lured the kid away without any trouble, but luckily it wasn't real, because if it was real, this kid would have been gone, and that would have been over, like, I mean, but it just proved that the dad wasn't paying attention, and the dad was really relieved to see the kid again, so hopefully he learned a lesson from that, and hopefully he'll watch his kid instead of watching his phone, but, like, that's just so scary to think that, like, it could have been a real child predator and one of the things that popped up in my recommended section is a social experiment a child predator social experiment where they try and see if the kids will take candy from a stranger and uh, I, I think I've seen it before and it's very crazy because like almost all of the kids take the candy scary to think about that like this could be your kid taking candy from a stranger like you got to teach your kids this stuff. Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. Okay, so the thing just popped up that I'm live streaming on my channel, but Prankster Lock has not... Yeah, okay, I get it. I have like a thousand emails, whatever. Okay, so um, the other thing that I wanted to say to you guys is that um, I got the Spongebob my pants movie. I got this at the library today. Um, so basically, I own the second one, but I do not own the first one. But now I do. And they had they were having like this giant book sale at the library, and I was like, oh my gosh, so many books. Because like I'm not an avid reader anymore. I used to read like I I used to read constantly. Now I just mostly read for YouTube when I do it. Um, but. Then I saw the Spongebob Squarepants movie, and I was like, holy crap, that's, like, I, I'm totally getting that. And I was going to buy it for, like, $2, and the woman was like, oh, well, <laughs> why don't you just pay 50 cents? So 
my mom like so my mom actually like pulled out her purse and gave the woman the 50 cents and then they were like okay well you know take this home and uh <laughs> okay so it was pretty cool and okay i'm out of water i'll be back in a minute you guys <laughs> oh my gosh I literally have zero viewers so that's my fucking fan base <laughs> Yep, zero people are watching me. That sounds about right. <laughs> um, so anyway, the other thing that I want to say to you guys is that um, there's a guy, and there has been a guy since about March. Um, in fact, when I um, said I needed to take that break, when I made that video, a few days after I left YouTube for about a month, this guy... Um, <laughs> whose name is Avi, by the way, and um, there was a lot going on at the time, and his sister had um, been diagnosed with breast cancer. I mean, we were having a great time, we were having a great relationship, and then all of a sudden his sister got diagnosed with breast cancer. So a few days after I made that video about needing a break and, uh, and stuff like that, because part of it was uh, Avi and what was going on with him, but basically... A few days after that happened, his sister went into a coma and he decided to quit social media. And then a couple weeks later, um, I messaged him late at night because it was just really lonely. And what happened is, um, like, I didn't, like, I was like, oh, yeah, right, you're not there. But then he actually messaged me back a couple days later saying, he actually messaged me back a couple days later saying that his sister had died. So now we're friends again, and I think we might be, we might even be online boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, I didn't even plan it. Like, it just kind of happened. Like, we have this connection, but I don't, I don't really know. Like, I don't really know what's going to happen with this guy. I mean, I don't know. But now he's telling me he wants to be business partners and all sorts of stuff. I don't know. I feel like we have a really strong connection, but I don't really know. Like, I'm, I'm also trying to be careful because I don't want to get hurt. Like, yes, I'm worried about getting my heart broken. Yes, I'm worried about getting hurt. But I also want to believe that this guy isn't like the millions of other guys out there who are just assholes for the sake of being assholes. Like, I want to believe that he's actually a good guy, but I don't know if that's the truth. Like, I don't know. I mean, he is a good guy. I mean, he acts like a good guy on the Internet. But, I mean, once I meet him in person... It'll definitely be a lot easier to judge him. So, um, but other than that, I'm not exactly sure what to do. So, um, anyway, um, there's only two days left till summer vacation. Both me and my mom are really excited. And, um, Saturday is Canada Day, obviously. Like, me. 
my mom actually just figured that out to earlier today. And when we win the car, she was saying, um, you know, I have to give you a change of routine card because basically it's uh, Canada Day and, you know, the store is probably going to be closed and all that stuff. And uh, we're not even sure if we're going to watch a movie that night. Like, we might stay at the neighbor's barbecue. We're not sure. But I'm I'm 100% sure that we're watching a movie because I'm going to get, I'm going to make my mom watch a movie with me anyway, whether she likes it or not. So, um, anyway, um, and the other thing is that, yeah, if you guys don't know what a change of routine card is, it's this thing that I found online, um, me and, like, a while ago, um, I think it was about a year ago, I was looking at, like, tools and stuff for autism, and I found this change of routine card thing, and I thought that would be perfect, because... I always, because I like things a certain way and I always freak out when the routine gets changed and maybe I just need it in advance in writing. So we started trying that and every time there's a change in the routine, my mom just gives me one of those cards and I'm like, okay, and we it. So, okay, there's nobody watching this live stream. Is it even worth it or am I just making a fool out of myself? <laughs> um, okay, well. You know what, I'm really tired, uh, so I think that might just be it for tonight. I'm going to try and do another live stream later on. I know this live stream was supposed to be about my books, but, and I know this live stream was supposed to be about my books, and I didn't really talk about them, but um, I'll, I'll do another live stream soon, and uh, I'll, I don't know, I'll talk about my books in another video, in another live stream, or... <laughs> And just because the live stream has something as the focus doesn't mean that's all I'm going to be talking about. I just wanted to let you guys know that, too. Like, if I have a live stream and I'm talking about, and the name of it is, like, cats or something, obviously I'm not going to dedicate an hour and a half live stream to, like, cats. Because, I mean, I probably could. If <laughs> I probably could find enough reasons to, you know, talk about cats for an hour and a half. But I feel like that's just not going to be entertaining for you guys, you know, if I'm just talking about one subject. So I'm probably going to talk about a bunch of different stuff, but I did talk a little bit about my books earlier, and um, if you guys want to know more information, obviously I have the link to my writing that I gave you guys a couple videos ago, and there's some other stuff um, that there's not really... Uh, anyway, I don't know. I'm really tired. Um, <laughs> 10.30, so I don't know. I think I'm just going to end it here, and uh, I will do another live stream discussion dedicated to my books because I I feel like I wanted to talk a lot more about them. But I will tell you guys that um I am doing I am going to be starting a few new books this summer and they're going to be really good. And one of them is a Gravity Falls fan fiction. So um yeah, Gravity Falls is like one of my favorite shows of all time. I I don't think, I don't know if it's my favorite show, but it's definitely up there. Um, and there are also a lot of shows and stuff that I want to see this summer. Like, a lot of shows and movies that I haven't seen yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Like, I've already got Invader Zim, the Powerpuff Girls, which I watched the first episode of. Um, I want to finish Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I want to finish The Amazing World of Gumball. I want to watch the new episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, Family Guy want to avoid. I I stopped watching it like six months ago, and I'm I'm done. I'm just done. Family Guy is shit now. Uh, I I know I have a Family Guy rant coming up, but I just want to rant now. I know I know I have a Family Guy rant coming up in one of my upcoming YouTube videos, but like uh, it just pisses me off. And, and people still like it. People still watch it. And it's still on the air. What the fuck? Seriously, Brian is one of my most hated cartoon characters now. Yeah, when I do six voice cartoon characters, uh, this, or six voice animated characters or whatever it is, he's going to be on the list. You know why? Because he sucks. And he's an asshole for no reason. Like, he gave a baby herpes. Who does that? And it wasn't like he didn't know he had herpes. He knew. And he did it anyway. Honestly, I I don't know. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh, I really want to see, um, 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 
Samurai Jack. People have been raving about it. Uh, another show I want to see from the 90s that goes along with Ed and Nettie is uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. And by goes along with it, I don't mean that it's like a continuation or something. It's a totally different show. It's just also from the 90s. <laughs> uh, Rocco's Modern Life also. Even though I'm not exactly sure that's supposed to be for kids. I mean, wasn't there an episode where he was working in a phone sex line? <laughs> yeah, I think that existed. Um, but yeah, I actually have the two plushies from Gravity Falls. I just got them today. It's the two main characters, Dipper and Mabel, in plush form. They're about eight and a half inches, I think. But it took the girl, like, three weeks to finish them. And, uh, she only charged me, like, I think about $50 for, for each one of them. <laughs> so that's, like, a third the price of Budsies and, like, half the time. So I might actually see if she can make me, like, more plushies. But anyway, I got Dipper and Mabel from Gravity Falls, and they're so cute. Like, they're incredibly well made. So I'm, th so it's, like, the same work as Budsies, but, you know, just a third of the price and, like, half the time. I don't know. Budsies does it right every time. I'm a little worried about if I ask her for another toy, what's going to come out of it. She did a great job with Dipper and Mabel, but I, I don't know. I'm going to have to see what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely ordering something from Budsies on Friday because my check is going through and the money is going to be in my account, and the, they have a summer sale going on right now that's 25% off, which is going to take it down from about $150 to about $112, so I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. Like, and it's ending on Friday, so I need to order something then. And I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to order. I don't know. I have Amethyst, so I'm thinking I might just have to keep going with that and uh, get another character from the Steven Universe. Like, keep just keep going with the, uh, keep going with the Steven Universe collection. I don't know. Maybe get Peridot next or Pearl or Garnet. I don't know. I love all the Crystal Gems so much. I don't know. It's hard to choose just one. Like... I just want to order them all right now, but I can't do that. <laughs> I don't know. If this guy's real about being business partners, then I could have money. I don't know. He says he'll be here in the end of July, so the plan right now is that I'm going to meet him, um, and I'm going to just keep, I don't know. I'm going to just be um, very cautious, and I don't know. I feel like when I meet him in person, I'll get a much better idea of who he is. I'd never even seen a picture with this guy, so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> At this point, I feel like nobody's watching, and, and, I mean, I don't feel like nobody's watching. There's literally nobody watching. Like, there's a sign that says zero viewers down there. Okay, well... So, um, alright, well, I guess that's it. I don't know, I guess most people turned off notifications after I, said, after I said I was changing my channel. They're like, well, you know, screw this girl, I'm not going to fucking listen to her channel anymore because, you know, she's not going to be here. Um, like, I mean, I guess it says something about the people who watch my channel, like, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, like, I'm not trying to be offensive or anything, you know, I'm just saying that, like, um, I have over a thousand subscribers on this channel, and now, um, I, and on my new channel, I have, like, 35, so obviously, I don't know, it wasn't such a big deal to people to, they were like, you know, it wasn't worth their time to go and find the new channel, or, or they just didn't care, or they were just inactive subscribers, which I got from Sub Me Now, which could definitely be true, because, I use Sub Me Now a lot over the last four years. It's actually how I got the majority of my subscribers. But it was one of the reasons I actually started a new channel because everyone was just like, oh, well, you know, because uh, Nathan told me that uh, Sub Me Now, that uh, you're not supposed to use that kind of stuff. And also that the subscribers that are on there aren't usually active. So, so I mean... Oh, it's just hard to figure out. Um, so, but I mean, I guess, uh, I guess using that site didn't really do me any good in the long run. 
So I was just like, okay, well, I'm starting over with this new channel, and, you know, I'm just not going to use the subscriber box anymore. And I still get notifications from the site, but I don't use it anymore because I, I don't want it. And, um, you know, I don't want a bunch of subscribers that are just going to be inactive. Um, actually, the trick that Emo uses is he hands out business cards, and it seems to be working quite well for him. Like, he has over... I think he has a, I think he has about 500 subscribers now, and he definitely has a lot more people in the comments section than he used to. So for all you rookies, yep, and uh, Nathan, to you too. Business cards, good idea. Business cards are relatively cheap. You could probably even make them at home for free. Um, you know, I know they have and stuff where ten dollars will show you video to millions of people, but I don't know how legit those sites are, but, you know, with business cards, you can literally hand them to people on the street, so, like, I don't know, you guys, like, what, if, you know, if you use another subscriber, um, website, or if you just wait for people, or if you advertise yourself on other videos, which you probably shouldn't do, and I'm not saying that to, like, I'm saying, you know, most people don't like that. <laughs> I know for a fact that Nathan doesn't like it. Um, he even kicked me off one of his videos. He was like, don't advertise there. I deleted your comment. <laughs> Which I thought was really weird, but I mean, it. like, people advertise themselves on my videos all the time, and I'm just here. Um, I think one person, like, posted a thing on my, on one of my videos in the comments that led to a picture of one of my videos, or one of my videos or something? I'm not exactly sure. If it was a video, I couldn't figure out how to play it, and if it was a picture, then, what? I don't know. I don't get it. Like, why would you put that there? <laughs> Alright, um... So it's pretty late. I think we're going to end this now. I feel like I've done my live stream for the day. But, um... Uh, oh, yeah, um... About the, uh... uh taste test videos. Because I said they were going up. But... them this summer. <laughs> um, I do have a few videos on my post, including... That was like a year ago, but a really long time ago. Out of a year ago, and uh, we went to the Chopinboy trip. And uh, there's also a, a bunch of other videos, along with like the uh, along with the first big candy taste test that I ever did, where I just tried a bunch of candy bars that I've never tried before. And some of them were really good, and I can't believe I've never tried. I think I found a new favorite candy bar in Snickers. Um, but I really, I don't know, I really enjoyed the taste test, well, for the most part. I mean, there was, like, mint, coconut, okay, I didn't really like it that much. But, I mean, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I prefer to stick with what I know. Like, which, um, by the way, if they cat chunkies at the superstore, which I don't understand, it's driving me crazy. So, we went to the superstore... Me and my mom were at the superstore, and, uh, basically, yeah, they don't sell them there anymore, or I couldn't find them, or, I don't know, maybe they just don't carry them or something, or maybe they just don't have any right now, like, maybe they ran out, but I couldn't find them at the superstore, which really pissed me off, and they didn't have any at the shoppers drum line either, I mean, they had, like, a big package of them, like, both the Superstore and the Shoppers Drug Mart, they had a big package of them, but I couldn't find single ones. What the fuck? Like, seriously. Okay, um... <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Alright, this is getting easier as I go along. Like... Is that my mom? Okay, I might have to be a little quieter if I'm gonna continue with this. So, um... <laughs> yep. Yeah. Prankster Lock wants to know what happened to my cheeks. I guess because they all got to do something. Yeah, that's just acne. It's been a problem since I was about 12. I, I don't know. Acne medication and acne cream just doesn't work for me. So I've 
you know, it's just, you know, it's just become a part of my life. It's just like who I am. I'm just like, whatever, I have acne, who cares, you know, kind of thing. Like, I don't know, I can't find a solution, so I'm just like, whatever. Well, you know, not going to waste my time using all these different acne medications if they're not going to work. So, <laughs> yeah, if you guys ever see, like, red stuff on my cheeks, it's probably just acne. I get a lot of it around my face, like you and here, and uh, my forehead. Um, <laughs> like, it's not just a problem on my face. I get it at other places, too, but, like... <laughs> my face has been like a huge problem since I was a kid. So if I've ever got acne, if I if I ever look red around my face, then yeah, that's acne. <laughs> I know I have a lot of health problems. Like I have acne. I'm fat. I. <laughs> All right. So um, <laughs> about my books, um, I'm really not gonna go on with that. Like I'm gonna pick a different date to talk about it. But hopefully the next live stream I do, people will tune in, you know, instead of nobody watching it. So I'm going to go. Um, I love each and every one of you guys. Please don't forget to always be yourself. Uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. On Monday and Tuesday I didn't do the videos because things got complicated. I don't know. Things just didn't work out the way I thought they would on Monday and Tuesday. I mean, I don't know. I just have a lot going on. Um, I know I said that this was going to take priority, and I it still does take priority. It should take priority. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, I'm figuring it out. I don't know. Well, I did this live stream today, so you guys can go ahead and be happy about that. Normally, the live stream it would be longer, it would be like an hour to an hour and a half at the least, but I mean, I don't know, like, nobody's here and I'm I'm tired and I don't know, my mom went to bed, my mom's in bed, uh, so um, probably going to go shopping on Sunday and uh, I don't know, that's it, that's all I can think of, okay, I love each and every one of you guys. Please don't forget to always be yourself. Then I'll be signing out. Uh, uh, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Um. Oh, by the way, drinking game. Take a shot every time I yawn. You guys will die of alcohol poisoning by the end of this video. Okay, well, rest in peace. <laughs> no, seriously, though, I love you guys. All right, bye.